Under the right, or maybe I should say wrong circumstances, your iPhone could kill you. This patient is a 72-year-old woman who was brought into the emergency department by paramedics after experiencing a syncopal episode just prior to arrival. The patient was sitting on her sofa with her husband, FaceTiming her grandchildren with a new iPhone. Her husband got up to go to the kitchen to get a glass of eggnog and heard a thud. When he returned to the living room, the patient was semi-conscious, confused, and the phone was on the floor. 911 was called. Upon EMS arrival, the patient was alert and oriented, but she was unsure of what had happened. Her field vital signs were blood pressure 153 on 78, heart rate 70, respiratory rate 12, with a temperature of 98.9 degrees Fahrenheit, and her oxygen saturation was 98% on the air. Her finger stick glucose was normal at 88, and IV was established. She had no complaints, and she didn't recall any symptoms that preceded the syncopal episode. When she arrived to the emergency department, she appeared normal. She denied chest pain, no shortness of breath, no nausea, vomiting, no abdominal pain or headache. There was no incontinence, a bladder or bowel. There was no post-ictal period reported by EMS or by the husband. And her physical exam was unremarkable, including normal mental status, normal neurologic exam, normal heart sounds, normal lung sounds, and there was no evidence of trauma. Labs are ordered, including cardiac enzymes. She is put on a cardiac monitor and a stat portable chest x-ray is ordered. An EKG is done and see part two to see what happens.